Hello everyone, welcome to Code Refer. Myself, Sushma Baliza. In our previous video, we have discussed about what is a sequel join, what is an inner join, left join, along with its execution part. Link of that previous video is placed in the description below. Please refer the video for introduction of the sequel join, inner and left joins, along with examples and execution part. And now let's discuss about other two joins that are left over and its execution part. That is, what is a right join and full join. What is a right join? Right join is exactly opposite of left join. It returns all the rows of the right table even if there are no matching rows found in the left table. If you don't find any matches from left table, null is to be returned. To perform this join, right join clause to be used. Syntax. Syntax is similar to other two joins but right join clause which makes the difference. And this is the Venn diagram. Left circle represents the left table and right circle represents the right table. All the rows from the right table to be retrieved along with the matching rows of both the left and right table to be retrieved and that should be the resultant of this right join. And now let's discuss about its execution part. Let's write a query for this right join. This is a right join and select let's take a few columns from first table a dot employee id a dot employee name a dot department id and let's take all the columns from second table from employees as a and as we discussed right join clause to be used on department b on and common uh, column for both the tables is department id a dot department id is equals to b dot department id before executing that query let's execute those two tables so we can get an idea so as department is to right side of the right join we have to get all the rows from the department table and employee is to the left of the right join we have to get only matches of the uh, right table matches from the right table that is department 1 3 and 5 we don't have uh, the column as 5 in department so instead of that null is displayed and 1 3 and 4 again so we have to get total of 5 rows from employee table that is 1 3 1 3 and 4 and uh, from department table we have to get all the uh, column I mean all the rows because that is to the right of the right join so along uh, but we don't have table uh, ID number 2 in employee which is not mapped but we have to get even that also so from department ID 2 should be displayed from that is also should be displayed from department and so total of we have 6 rows to be displayed let me execute this Yes, we have got all the total of 6 rows and, uh, and also we got 5 rows from employee table. See, 5 rows from the employee table is also displayed because that is to the left of the right join. Only mapped values will be displayed. That is 1, 3, 1, 3 and 4 as we discussed earlier. And uh, department ID 2 that is also to be displayed from the employee table sorry department table so once let me execute this again so that we can get the ids we can see the ids what we have to get one two and four five and six we will not get five because five is not mapped so we got one two four five and six along with that we also got department id Okay, and uh, let's execute uh, this query in an another way for your better clarification. Let's take all the columns from both the tables and let me change the tables. Department as A and uh, that is to be the left and uh, employees is to the right of the right join. On A dot department ID equals to B dot department ID. 
I have replaced the I have swapped both the tables so first let me execute employees I have placed to the right of the right join so we have to get all the rows from the employees table 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 and as department is to the left we have to get only mapped values that is 1 3 and 5 is not mapped 1 3 and 4 so in the department we have 1 3 and 4 2 will not be displayed because that is not mapped at all and for 5 as we don't find any matching rows from the left table null is displayed at that place so total of 6 rows to be displayed for this table resultant should be displayed as 6 rows so once let's execute that yes we have got 6 rows and also uh, as employee is to the right of the right join we have got all the tables 1 2 3 4 5 6 we have got all the rows from the employee table and in the department only we should get mapped values that is 5 uh, 5 we don't have any matching rows from the left table null is displayed at that place and 1 3 4 is also displayed so total of 6 rows we got displayed now let's discuss about a last type of join that is full join what is a full join it returns all the matched and unmatched rows from both the right and left side table of the join clause we can also define it as the combination of left and right join or it combines the resultant of the both left and right joints to perform this join full outer join or full join clause to be used syntax is very similar to the other joins but full outer join or full join clause which makes the difference and this is the venn diagram this venn diagram it represents that all rows from both the tables whether it is matched or unmatched all the rows should be displayed that is the resultant of this full join and now let's execute uh, this full join let's write a query for this select a dot let's take all tables i mean all columns from both the tables from employees as employees as a full join as we discussed or else we can also take full outer join also department as b on uh, a dot department id because department id is the common column of both the tables so before executing let me execute these two so that you can get an idea yes this is the employee table and this is the department table as we discussed we have to get all rows from employees and, we, and also we have to get all rows from department from employees we have to get one two three four five and six ids but here we have we also have to have a look on the department id whatever we have with the, this department table whatever we have mapped and five is not at all uh, uh, this 5 value is not present in department instead of this uh, while we are mapping with other table null will be displayed at the right side of this table as we don't have any values and uh, department also from department also you have to get all the values I mean all the rows but 2 is not at all mapped for any of the employees so in uh, for this uh, 2 we have to get null values at the left side of this values as we don't find any values and that too will be displayed at the end of the table so six table six rows from employees and one more row that is two from the department to be displayed so total of seven rows to be displayed so total of seven rows to be displayed okay let's execute this yes as we discussed we got seven rows and one two six from employees and one more row that is from department as we don't have any mapped values from employees null is displayed at the left side instead of the data from the left table and for five also as we don't have any values 
from the department table null is displayed so for your better uh, clarification let me execute the same query in an another way b dot star from let's take department as a now full join or full outer join whatever and uh, employees as b on on a dot department id is equals to b dot department id as we discussed previous we have written uh, employee to the left and department to the right now we have written department to the left and employees to the right whatever if we write uh, the tables if we swap the tables here and there also resultant should be the same but the way of representation will be differs that is as we as we have uh, employees to the left first employee table will be displayed and later department is displayed for the earlier query and now department as we have department to the left and employees to the right this department table will be displayed at the left side and employees table will be displayed to the right side so same thing total of seven rows will total of seven rows will be displayed okay let's execute this yes we got seven rows and uh, for uh, as we discussed uh, department table is displayed at the left and employee table is displayed at the right but here department 5 as we don't have any department id 5 in this department table null is displayed at this place and 2 is not at all mapped for any of the employee table um, any of the employee idols it's not at all mapped so null is displayed from the right table so let me execute the both queries at a time and let's cross verify that and uh, see yes this is the resultant of the first query and this is the resultant of the second query in both the tables in i mean in the both the result va resultant values we got seven rows but the way of representation is varying have you seen this here we got department id as one three one three four and two and for the first query also we got one three one three four and two but for five as we don't find any values it is null and for two as we don't find any values in the left table this is null same here for three i mean for department id five we don't have any mapping values from department so this is null and for two as we don't have any mapping values from the other table it is null so this is the resultant of the full join hope you like this video if you like this video please do like share comment and subscribe to core refer if you are new to this channel please click on the subscribe button to receive all the updates also click on the bell icon to be the first to receive notifications about all the latest videos from core refer